Hey everyone, welcome to Iron Coding. Today we're diving into the basics of JavaScript, starting with an introduction and a focus on variables. What is JavaScript? JavaScript is a versatile programming language commonly used to make web pages interactive. Whether you're clicking a button, submitting a form, or fetching data, JavaScript is likely behind the scenes making it all happen. Firstly, let's set up our coding environment. You can use any text editor, but I recommend Visual Studio Code for its simplicity and powerful features. Open up your editor and create a new file called script.js. Now create an HTML file, index.html. Write boilerplate code like this. To link our JavaScript file with HTML, write script tag src script.js. Always write this code at the end of body tag. To print information in JavaScript, Write console.log, brackets, double quotes, iron coding, semicolon. Here, console.log is used to log information to the web pages console, and this is the information. Now save it, inspect, and click on console. Here is the information we typed in our code. Now let's talk about variables. In JavaScript, a variable is like a container where you can store and retrieve values. To declare a variable, you can use var, let, or const. Now, what is the difference between var, let, and const? I have a variable age with keyword var. We can write again var age equal 30, var age equal 40. We did not get any error because var can be redeclared and updated. If we print it, we get 40. Although this is not wrong, but it is confusing, therefore we use let keyword in most of cases if we change var to let. We got error that cannot redeclared if we remove let from here. Now error is not showing because let keyword variables can be updated. This means that previously value of age is 20, then 30, and now 40. And if we print it, we got 40. Now const, it cannot be declared or updated. Now let's talk about data types in JavaScript. Understanding data types is crucial for any programmer. So let's break it down. In JavaScript, there are two types of data types, primitive data types and non-primitive data types. Let's start with primitive data types. Number, string, boolean, null, undefined, symbol. All these are primitive data types. Number. It represent numeric value. String. It represent text data like name. Boolean. It have only two values, true or false. Null. It represent null values. Undefined. The variables with no values are undefined data type. Symbol. It is the unique value assigned for a variable. In this example, we declared variables with different primitive data types. We can check data type of these variables. Write console.log, brackets. Inside brackets, write type of, and now write the variable name, age. Similarly, for all variables. Now save it. This is how we can check the variable data type. Next, non-primitive data types. Object, array, and function are three main non-primitive data types. Object, objects are collections of key value pairs. Each key is a string or symbol, and each value can be any data type. This is an example of object with key and value. Here, subject and age are keys, and English and 20 are values. To print this whole object, write console.log, brackets. Inside brackets, write name of the object, student. Here, we get whole object as output. We can also check data type, write console.log, brackets, type of student. Here, we get object as output. Array. Arrays are a special type of object used for storing ordered collections of values. Each value in an array is called an element, and elements are accessed using their index. This is an example of array. Here, red, green, blue are elements of array. To print whole array, write console.log brackets colors. We get elements of our array. We can also print elements of an array by index number. Index number means serial number. In JavaScript, index number starts with zero, means index number of red is zero, index number of green is one, and index number of blue is two. To print, write console.log brackets colors square brackets zero. Now we get red as output because index number of red is zero. Next, functions. They are blocks of code designed to perform a specific task. A function in JavaScript is executed when something calls it. Functions can take arguments and return a value. This is the syntax of function. Here we can write the name of our function, and inside the curly braces, we can write the work that we want the function to perform. I created a function. This is the name of our function, and this is the work it performs. Save it. Nothing is showing here because we have a function, but we did not use it anywhere. 
To use this function, we have to call it. This is the syntax for calling a function. Write the name of the function, my function, brackets, and a semicolon. Save it. Now we get the output. Let's create a function that adds two numbers and prints the result directly to the console. Write function, we can name it add, and it will take two parameters, a and b. Inside the function, we'll add these two numbers and use console.log to print the result. Now let's call this function and pass two numbers, add 100 plus 200. Here we get the result. And that's it for today. We covered the basics of JavaScript, what variables are, and the different data types you'll use as a developer. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more coding tutorials like this.